Hey everyone, my name is Andile and I am super excited for today's service because it's Father's Day. I hope you guys have all taken the time to make your father or your father figure in your life feel extra spoilt today. Whether it's your uncle or it's your granddad, whoever it is, make sure that they feel special on today's Father's Day. One of my favorite memories uh, of my dad is when my brother and I were really little and we came to him and we said, Dad, we would really love you to buy us some scooters. And he said, no, I won't buy you scooters. I will make you some scooters. So it took a couple weeks, but he came back from work one day and he brought us back these amazing scooters and we had so much fun on them. Whatever special memory you have of your dad or your father figure, make sure you take the time today and share that special memory with them. Anyway, that's enough about our earthly dads today. Let's turn our attention to our heavenly father and worship him this morning. I have decided I'll go if you go with me On my own I'm history Only you can carry all my shame I have decided I'll go if you go with me On my own I'm history Only you can carry all my shame
dedicate this entire service to our dads but also to more importantly the ultimate father God now I know we dedicate all of our services to God but today we're gonna to look specifically at God being our dad which is such an incredible thought now a lot of us here have got incredible dads and and we've got great relationships with them but some of us here might not have the same thing but the one thing that we can rest assured in and find security in and all those wonderful things is that we have a dad in heaven who is always there for us and he is the perfect perfect father and he will never leave us nor forsake us so let's take a look at what the bible has to say about the ultimate father matthew 7 verse 9 to 11 which of you if his son asks for bread will give him a stone or if he asks for a fish will give him a snake if you then though you are evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? Today I'll be reading John 10 verse 10. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Psalm 139 verse 13 to 14. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. This week's verse is from Psalm 27 verse 10. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Isaiah 43 verse 1 Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. Well, it's clear from these scriptures that our Father in heaven is the ultimate dad and he loves us so, so much. Now, we're going to take a look at a story in the Bible that shows us this great love that he has for us. Check it out. Good morning everyone! So today's story is about the prodigal son. Another word for prodigal is wasteful or someone who lives recklessly. And in today's story we're going to see how a son leaves home and he starts to live a life that his father hadn't planned for him to live. And we're also going to see this great love that the father has for his son despite the way that he had hurt him. Meet the prodigal son. 
He was the younger of the two brothers. Hey Dad. Yes, son? So you know my inheritance, uh, you know, all the money that you're going to give me when you die? Yeah, I'll take that now. Okay, let's pause right there. Can you imagine how hectic this must have been? He's just asked his father for his inheritance. And what happens is when you get an inheritance, you get it because one of your parents have passed away. So he's basically saying to his dad that he is practically dead to him. Let's see what happens next. Wow, um, if that's what you want, uh, I'll grant you that wish. And so the father gave his son what he had asked for. And a few days later, the son packed up all he owned and took a journey far into the country. There he wasted all his money and lived a reckless life, not one pleasing to his father. He spent his money on doing all the wrong things. He partied it up and spent all his time with a bad bunch of people. Eventually, all his money ran out and he was no longer Mr. Popular amongst his new friends he had now made. He had nothing left. Out of desperation, he went to work for someone in the country who sent him to his fields to feed pigs. He could not believe how far he had fallen. In a moment of complete hopelessness, he thought to himself, Not even my dad would allow his servants to starve this much, and here I am, starving and hungry. I only have one choice now. I need to go back to my father's house and ask him for forgiveness. Up he got and began making his way back to his father's house. While he was still a long way off, his father saw him and felt compassion. He ran to his son and hugged him and kissed him. This was not the welcome the son was expecting. Dad, I'm so sorry. I'm not, I'm not worthy to be your son. I might as well just be your servant and just serve under you, please. I, I'm not worthy. But what the son heard next was not what he was expecting. The father immediately called for his servants to bring his son the best robe and to put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet. He also ordered that they prepared a big meal so they could eat and celebrate the son's return. Son, you were lost and now you were found. You were dead and now you were alive. This story is a beautiful picture of a father's love towards his son. And Jesus tells us this story to show us the type of love that he has towards us. He shows us that nothing is too big or no mistake is too bad to prevent us from experiencing God's love. And during this story, we see that God is always waiting for us with His arms open. And as a child of God, we can know that we can always be in His love and His arms keep us safe and we can know that His love will always be enough. Well, that was an incredible story yep. of the Father's love for us. And so now let us give you some ideas of how you can show some love to your father yep. or the father figure in your life. Right, so Keith, I've got some exciting things here today. You have quite a few things here today. I do, here today. and the okay. thing is, is, is during lockdown, it's a lot harder to get out to the shops and yeah. to try and find stuff to buy. And so we thought we would give you some ideas on how to make Father's Day really special and mm. some very cheap DIY gifts that you can do at home to make your dad's day really fantastic. So, first things first, okay. everyone loves a gift, right? Absolutely love getting gifts. Love getting gifts. Okay. Birthdays, Christmas, okay. just for fun, anytime. It's amazing. So, and what? so do your dads. Mm -hmm. But um, the problem is during lockdown, you might, like I said, be a bit uh, less able to get to the shops. And so what you can do is, because some of his dads aren't always turned on, is just re-gift something that's already in his cupboard. So, I mean, maybe you can find a cool tie mm -hmm. that he hasn't worn in a while. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. like go to the back of his cupboard, a cool tie. Um, Maybe you want to find some aftershave mm. or, or cologne. Yeah. I mean, maybe you can even find a good pair of socks that still look half decent, uh, or some body wash, or even like a chocolate he's half eaten. And more than likely, he won't even know that it was his in the first place. If you put it in a nice bag, put some of that like tissue paper stuff on top, that always makes it look fancy, mm -hmm. write a nice card, and if you give it to him sincerely, I mean, he can't really reject it. Uh, I agree with that. So I think it's pretty foolproof. So uh, yeah, tip number one, just re-gift something in the house already. And I mean, you can actually make it like a really big hamper because you can just take stuff from everywhere. Um, and it's pretty much free. So um, I, I think most ads would actually fall for that. 
because I think I'd fall for that. So. Totally, yeah. totally. If it looks new, it's mostly full, not completely eaten, you should get away with it. Mm -hmm. So let me know how that works out for you. So. Okay, number one. Number two. Oh, on to number now two. On to number two. So now everyone has to use the bathroom. Not yes. so. And um, I mean, going to the bathroom is pretty boring. I mean, for the most part, it's not yeah. like it's an exciting experience. It's just, it's a standard thing. You go mm. to the bathroom. But how about on Father's Day, you make your dad's bathroom experience really exciting. So all you need to do is um, get some glitter. Okay, what? because everybody loves some glitter, right? Even your dad's. Any color, maybe blue for dad's, I'm not sure. And take the toilet roll off the holder, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna roll it quite far out. Okay. Keith, can you hold that side for me? I can hold the side. Okay. Just make sure you have a bit at the end, righty? Take your glitter. Okay, I've got gold because, well, I mean, I found this most sparkly glitter I could find. You're gonna sprinkle some glitter on the toilet roll. Okay, but not all the way to the end, okay? You wanna keep some room for surprise. And all you're gonna do is basically roll your toilet roll back up nice and slowly, keeping all the glitter on the inside. Okay. Just like that. This is gonna be amazing. It's gonna be crazy. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna hang your toilet roll back up on the roll, making sure that this flap is against the wall, because I won't do it now, I'll get in trouble from our cameraman, <laughs> is pull this down. And what's gonna happen is a whole lot of glitter is gonna fall out of the toilet roll and give your dad the biggest surprise of his life. So you can thank me for that one later, but it's gonna be exciting. Okay, right. So number two is your toilet roll and mm -hmm. glitter. Okay, I mean, yeah. all the day without glitter is just boring. Simple. Pretty simple. But now, okay. very importantly, is that you've got to include mm. food. Dads love oh, food. Not I so. Agree. And I, I mean, agree. the best thing about you know like birthdays, mm -hmm. Easter, Father's Day, Mother's Day is you can eat like chocolate for breakfast, cake for breakfast, in fact the whole day and no one can judge you. And so I have made just an example of a mm. small cake that you can make for your dad. Okay, well I mean you can get more creative. I only have pink marshmallows because they're <sighs> Keith's favorites. Mm. Keith, would you like to try some of my cake? Yes, Tash, I'd absolutely okay. love this. Do, do I have to like take a small bite or can I put well, the Well, it depends how much you want, it's really good. Okay, it's, so it's like chocolate Oreo on the inside. Okay. Let's go. Kid, what's wrong? Tash, this, this is not cake. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? What is this? So, the thing is, is you might not be the best baker in the world. I mean, I'm shocking. You might not have the Tesh, least to buy a cake Tash, I don't believe somewhere. what you did to me. So I was so excited to eat cake. All I wanted was cake. <laughs> all you need is a dish sponge <laughs> and some icing sugar. And some decorative you, you know, for once, I thought Tash was a nice person. I thought she was being a good friend. I thought I was getting a piece of cake. Well, I mean, the ass things are you could lick that off if you wanted to. Yeah, maybe later. Maybe later when you've recovered from your trauma and your betrayal. So That's why I have trust issues. <laughs> this is why. But, I mean, the ass thing was yummy. Yeah, the icing was nice was and yummy. the marshmallows. Yeah, actually. totally. Mm -hmm. So, all you need to do, it's so simple, just grab a dish sponge. Preferably not the one that's being used currently. Maybe there's like a clean one in the cupboard because you've got to be a little bit kind to your fathers. And um, make up some, I mean, icing is so easy to make. It's literally icing sugar with some hot water. Mm -hmm. And I just added cocoa to make it look chocolatey and taste extra special. And you just got to ask the sponge like you would a normal cake and then decorate it as you like and give it to your dad with all the smiles in the world and watch his face as he bites into a sponge. <laughs> <laughs> well guys, there you have it. It is my pleasure to have given you some ideas to spoil your dad on Father's Day. Re-gift something, add some sparkle to, <laughs> what do you want to add some sparkle to? And bake him a cake. Mm. And you should be winning awards for the top child in the family. Let me know how it goes. You can catch any of these on video. I would love to see them. Well guys, all I'm saying is good luck with getting away with those pranks. Alrighty, we're going to hear from a few of our friends as to what they love most about their dads. So check this out. Hi guys, I'm Sarah. And I'm Akea. And we are from Port Elizabeth. We, we love, love our dad. dad. I enjoy swimming with him in the beach. And I enjoy doing gardening projects with him. Hi, my name is Gugu. I'm from Peter Maritzburg. The one thing I love most about my dad is that he's constantly sacrificing his time just to spend it with me. 
Hey guys, my name is Kwanele. I'm from South Africa in Peter Maritzburg, but I'm currently living in America, California. One thing I really love about my dad is the fact that I can go to him anytime and he will always be there for me. Hey, my name is Leah. I'm from the South Side and my favorite thing to do with my dad is we read our Bibles early in the morning and have quiet time together. Hi, my name is Zara and I live in America and my favorite thing about my dad is he does woodworking with me. Hi, my name is Sari. I live in America and my favorite thing to do with my dad is to build with Hello, I'm Byron King and uh, we are from the Rock Below and I love my dad because he's such a really good example for me. Hi, I'm Callum and I love my dad because he's there for me when I need him. Happy Father's Day! Okay, so now that you've got some really cool ideas on how to spoil your dad, We've got something really special just for Father's Day. Now, I'm sure you've seen all those choirs going around of everyone joining together from their different places and it all comes together for one song. And so I got total FOMO and I thought, why don't we do one ourselves? And so we have done one with just kids, okay, to the song You Make Me Brave, which you guys should all know. It's a really, really cool song. And so this song is all about the fact that Jesus makes us brave. You see, during a time like we're in, some people might be fearful or nervous about the future or what's going to happen or with their schools or families. And, and we can find ourselves a bit scared sometimes. But the really, really beautiful thing is that when we put our trust in Jesus, He makes us brave. And we can be so sure of the fact that the Holy Spirit living inside of us gives us that courage and that boldness to stand strong even when things around us seem so uncertain. So why don't we all stand to our feet real quick. We're gonna, we're gonna worship our God to this song. There are a couple of actions you can, you can dance along to and, and sing along if you know the words. And um, let's worship our King and just give all those things over to Him where we might be feeling a bit fearful or a bit nervous and ask Him to make us brave. I stand before you now The greatness of your renown I have heard of the majesty and wonder of you King of heaven in humility I bow Has your love Champion of heaven, you made a way for all to 
ashes over me For you are for us You are not against us Champion of heaven You made a way As your love You wave out the way up this morning, I just wanted to pray with a couple people, maybe you wanting to receive Jesus into your heart and become a part of His family. And if that is you this morning, we'd love to pray with you. So why don't you repeat this prayer after me? Dear Jesus, thank you so much for dying on the cross to forgive me of my sins. I know that without you, I am nothing. So I'm asking you to be Lord of my life. Come wash me and make me brand new. Thank you that you can teach me how to love others. In your precious name, amen. If you pray that prayer, I would love to encourage you to do two things. Firstly, tell someone about it. Whether it's your parents, your granny, your grandpa, or your siblings, whoever it is, let someone know. And secondly, we would also love to know. So let us know by sending us a message on the number on the screen below me and we would love to celebrate this moment with you. Also, we would love to make our daily devotionals available to you via WhatsApp. So if you would love access to those, please send us a message on that exact same number. On that note, keep sending us your videos and your pictures. They are absolutely amazing and we love hearing from you guys every week. So keep sending them in. Lastly, if you manage to pull off one of the Father's Day pranks and capture it on video or take a picture of it, please send it to us. We would love to hear from you guys. It would be absolutely amazing. Lastly, the at-home discussion is coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. Otherwise, that's all from us today. We'll see you guys next week.